begin to do it. Okay, for today's our topic of D1 Mathematics new syllabus option book is prime factorization, cube root, and square root. Okay, let's start from prime factorization. Okay, I'll tell you a bit what we have. Consider a composite number. We, uh, we learned in the last topic that what is a composite number with more than two factors. So, consider composite numbers, a uh, number for example, 16. For example, 16. 16 is a composite number. So, we can express 16 as a product of prime factors. Okay. This, uh, we can say that we can express this number as prime factors. Now, what are prime factors? Prime numbers. Prime numbers are those numbers which have only two, uh, which have only two factors, and prime factors are those factors, the factor of these, this number, which is prime. Uh, so let's see the prime number, prime factor of this one. The factor should be prime. The factor, the factor of sixteen should be a prime factor. Should be prime number. Let's think. 2. 2 is a factor of 16 because in 2's table 16 comes. So, 2 multiplied by 16 is, oh sorry, sorry, 2 multiplied by 8 is 16. 2 is a prime factor of 16 because 2 is a prime number. Prime number. And it is also the Of 18. 
Oh, sorry, 16. So, we made a prime factor, uh, we, we found the prime factors of this number 16. So, we found them all, put it in index notation. notation. This is called the prime factorization of 16. Let's move on. I hope you understand it. Understand it. If you have any problem, you can ask it on the comment. I will answer you. So, now our next topic is... So, let's take another example of prime factorization so that you can be sure. Let's take a number 28. 28. Okay. This is the number. Let's put it over here. 28. 2 times 12, 2 times 14 is 28, 2 times 7 is 28, 7 times 1 is 28. So now what do we do? Now look, we have the number 2 and we have the number, uh, we have 2 twos and 1 7. Now what can we do? We don't have the same numbers. It doesn't matter because 7 is also a prime factor. So now let's try it over here. We have both 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 7. So these are the factors that we got. Now, it's very easy. Now, we, it's not, uh, we will only see the numbers which are same. These are same, we will make the index notation of them. 2 to the power of 2 and multiply by 7 as it is. And this would be our prime factorization of this number. 28. So it is very easy. If you have still any confusion, you can ask me on the comments. So let's move on. Okay. Our next topic is cube root and square root. First, we should do square root. Okay. What do you know about square root? Okay, we have learned in primary school that the area of square with size 5 cm, for example, is 5 cm, only the level of 5 cm, that is 25 cm square. I told you that the area of the area of a square is length square. So, this is the area of the the area of we will, and I also told you that the unit that we use is centimeters square. Look, square is over here. And we are studying about square root. Now, I will tell you how to find a square root. We have also learned that if we are given a square with an area of 25 cm, for example, the length of its sides can be gotten by taking its square root. Now, what is square root? I guess you are, you know, everyone knows about this sign. This is called a square root. Look, now if we have got the answer, the area of a square is 25 centimeters square. Now if, you, now, if they have only given this, the answer, and they are saying find each side of the square, what do we do? We will find the square root of, uh, square root of the answer. We will put it inside here. Now we have to find a number which multiplies by its own, uh, which multiplies by itself, and the answer should come like 25. Let's I do an example 4. When we multiply 2, multiply by 2 is equal to 4. Let's talk about 16. When we multiply 4, multiply by 4, it's 16. Let's take an example 64. When we multiply 8, multiply by 8, it's 64. When we take 81. We will multiply 9 and 9, it will be 81. For, or we can say 9 square, 4 square, 8 square, and 2 square. So this is called the square root. When you are, uh, you have to take a number and multiply it itself. The answer, we uh, like we got 2 multiplied by 2, 4. So the, when you take out the square root, we got get a number. Which, which will be multiplied by itself, like 2, 2. So, here we have to find 2 and 2. Now, here we have to find the square root of 25. Now, let's, we have to think that in, we have to think of a number which multiplied by itself and we have, we should have an 
class it took 25. It will it can be 5. Like if we multiply 5 multiply by 5 or 5 square, it will be equal to 25. So we took out the square root. Are you everyone is clear with the square root? You can ask any question in the comments if you are not clear about it, if you have any confusion. So 0, for example, 0, 1, 4, 9 are the squares of whole numbers are. So, this was uh, about square root. I told you the how to solve, uh, how to solve a square root. I told what is the square root. If you have any problem, you can ask in the comments. So, uh, let's move on to cube root. No. Yeah, first we should do the practice now. Three. Practice now three. Okay. Find the prime for position of 126, leaving your answer in index notation. It's very easy. I will tell you how to do it. Finding the first doing uh, from ten, 
and from 12 and for 13 and so on. It will be really very long procedure. There is an easy way to solve uh, square roots of numbers by by prime factorization. So let's see how we can do this. I will give you an example. So, first of all, we have to do prime factorization. We have to do this like this. 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 So, these are all the factors we got. So, now what we have to do? Now, let's assemble them like this. 2 multiply by 2, multiply by 2, multiply by 2, multiply by 7, and multiply by 7. We do not have to do any index notation right now. We don't have to use any like index and we have to use but answer will be accurate. The answer will be fine. So now let's you now we don't have to do this that we have to write 2 to the power 4 multiply by 7 square. We have to do another way. Now we have to take there are 4 2's and 2 7's. So so that means we have to make 2 sets of the factors we got because we are making square root we are finding the square root we will we'll make two sets if you will find it then I have to find the cube root we will make three sets so let's make two sets two every number every factor almost should be uh, because they are same factors so they should be two we use these two twos and one seven then again these two twos and one more seven two multiplied by two multiplied by seven so, now what we have to do? Now we will write, now we got um, 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 7, 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 7. We don't have to solve it yet. I will write it in index notation. 2 to the power, sorry. Multiply it. And write it 2 to the power 4, 4 multiplied by 7 to the power 2. So, now. Now, not from, sorry, now next thing that we have to do is we, we did a two, they, they are two of them, they are the same, this same sets are only by each other. So, we'll do the set, uh, the square, uh, the square of the set. Because they are same, same, the calculation will be same, answer will be same. So, we made a square of them. This will be much easier for us to solve it. Now, we can solve it hain. So, it's very easy. Now, we have to just forget about the square. Because we are doing square root. While we are doing the square root, we have to just forget about this. Now, we have to multiply these. 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 7. And now, we just have to take these factors and multiply each other. 2 by 4. 28 will be our...